Hey everyone, this is session six with this feral stud horse. He's doing pretty well. I just let him into the pen. So for those of you who are new, he basically has a little chute set up from his stall with the run out that leads to the round pen so that other feral horses can be in here if needed. So right away it looks like I'm going to go in with the lead rope, try to approach him, get that on. This is definitely the fastest I've been able to approach him. I'm getting him used to the noise again. And then I'm going to try to just get my hand under there so I can snap it on. Good, and right away able to pet the face. So it seems like the last session we made a pretty decent good breakthrough. I do like that right there when he kind of looked away and tipped his nose to the outside he did give to the pressure and come back in and listen. And right away starting with some desensitization with the stick and string. After I tossed it over his back a couple times I did ask him to walk and move out. It's super important that horses know how to lunge and round pen at the walk. We don't just want them trotting and cantering the whole time because then you start to run into an issue where when you start them under saddle or you want to get some more relaxation with them, they just think that they have to move fast in the round pen. So it's important to kind of encourage that relaxation in the walk. So here you can kind of see me sequence my cues. First I point, then I ask a little bit more with the whip and I use a vocal cue. Really, really liking the session that we're having right now. I do like being able to have him on the line more than loose right now because I'm able to kind of help and guide him through his movements more. We were able to get a really good hind quarter yield right there. And now this is where we struggled the other day, trying to get him sent out the other direction. So I'm going to keep bumping on that halter and lead rope. I'm going to try not to hold a steady pressure. I'm going to keep having mini releases in there. There we go. And we had a little bit of a struggle setting him up to track to the right. But just stick with him there. And like I said, don't hold that constant pressure. Really encouraging the walk today from him. So I'm hoping to do a nice warm up and of course pick up where we left off and then kind of start to make some improvements. So here again is the bumping to get him to face up, yield his hindquarter, look at me, relax. And I know we struggled a little bit with that direction change before. So I'm sure I'm going to focus on that in a little bit. Right here, whenever he's trying to leave, I'm going to continue with the bumping on the rope. Again, just getting him to relax, and maybe I reached his threshold there, so I'm going to make sure I extend the arm of the whip instead of getting closer to him. I know he's a little bit more comfortable with that. Good, and right there, it was just a super quick release. I just wanted to show him I wanted him to stay still and be okay with that touch. A really important part is going back and forth in between exercises, whether that be lunging, sending, touching, me going up with my hand, disengaging. Good, and we got a really nice release right there. I really like that when I do go up and pet him with the stick and string that the rope is kind of touching his legs and he doesn't have too much of an issue with that. Super important, we do everything on both sides with him. He seems to be progressing pretty nice and even on each side, with the exception of that direction change when we go from, I believe it's left to right. So now we're going to yielding the hindquarters. I'm helping out a little bit from a distance, trying to tip that nose in my direction while applying energy to the hip. And all I'm looking for is that front end to stay relatively still and that hind end to cross over just like that. As soon as he does that, I'm going to drop all of my energy to the ground, touch the tip of the whip to the ground, and exhale. He's a super quick learner. I love the amount of times that he licks and chews and really understands and softens through his body. Now we're going a little bit to leading. 
So I think I talked about this before, but if you can't get them to lead forward, again, you don't want to lay on that rope. It's always going to be bumping, but the best thing to do is go to the side because that puts them a little bit more off balance. If you pull just straight forward, they have something to lean against. Good. So now I'm looking for a couple more hindquarter steps. Good. I was really waiting for that front end to stay still. I want to make sure he understands the act of disengaging. And now to his off side. He wants to fall in with his shoulder a little bit more here. So you see me kind of shaking that rope up and down, helping guide his nose to the right point, making sure he doesn't block me out on that side. It's super common for horses to try to do that when they're a little bit more secure on one side. They're used to one side. You've only worked on one side. So they tend to want to block you out and put you back on that side. Good. Right now I'm really saying, no, you can't block me out over here. I'm just staying super quiet and easy going with him, waiting for him to relax, saying it's okay on this side. We're just doing the same exercise we were doing before and working on some touch. Really like these forward leading steps here. I'm able to come straight forward with him and with only a couple of bumps instead of constantly bumping on that lead rope. Back to the hindquarters, trying to make sure he doesn't block me out again. So first I started with waving the whip, no reaction, and then I went to tapping lightly. You saw the second he did start moving, I released. And then right here when he decided to go off, I'm just going to hang on to the end of the lead, wait for him to relax and get him to turn back around to me. Good, and I remember he has a little bit of a difficulty with that rope swinging around, so I think, if I remember correctly, I work on that for a little while. So get him to face up, and then every time I go to swing that rope, he gets a little nervous, so continuing to work on having him face up and then swinging that rope. Again, I know some people might say, like, hey, you're pulling pretty hard on that horse there, but... One, I have him in that leather halter, so it's not like a rope. It shouldn't be digging in anywhere. Um, the other thing is, if a horse is going to be strong and bulldoze over you, I have to take in consideration safety, especially further down the line. I want to make sure I'm not encouraging him just blowing around and bumping into me. I go to so many clinics and I see so many horses that just kind of run their, horse, their owners over, and I want to make sure I'm not creating an issue at an early stage with a feral horse where I teach them, they can just kind of blow through that pressure, which is why, just like with everything else, I have to keep asking, keep applying pressure until I get that desired uh, maneuver, which in this case is him just facing up with me and standing still. So back over to that side again. I'm building up a little bit of trust again by rubbing him down with the whip. And then right back into yielding the hindquarters. So we kind of anticipated at that time. So I'm going to be a little bit slower with my energy. Make sure I really get that nose around. I don't want to teach them that leverage where horses just kind of take their neck and they pull and they go straight forward. It's really important to me that I don't create any problems. Good. So even right there, when he just slightly moved his hindquarters, I gave him a bit of a release. I don't want him feeling like he has to break and pull backwards. Good. So on this side, you can tell I have to be lighter with my pressure and go in at a little bit of a different angle to make him comfortable with it. Again, really helping out that nose, getting that hindquarter to step. I don't want him walking forward out of it. Good. 
I'm actually going to break this session into two videos. Okay, because I know we're already about at the 10 minute mark, and this session actually ended up being 30 minutes long. So I'm just going to record a couple more minutes here, and then the next video will be the second half of this session. All right, so this kind of goes back to when I was tossing the rope and moving it around and he was getting a little nervous. Right now I'm kind of desensitizing motion around his head area, making sure he's all right with touch everywhere, going side to side, and he seems to do a pretty good job. I like watching their ears here. They're really listening to the whip and the noises of it in each side that they go to. And back to yielding the hindquarters. And he does a very nice job on the outside, so you know now which side I'm going to have to really focus in on. So you constantly see me fixing my rope, especially when I'm working with him because it's such a long rope. Um, but I do that because rope safety and management is a big deal for me. You want to make sure it's not coiled around your hand, that it's just kind of in long overlaying loops, I guess. You don't want any way for the horse to pull away from you super fast and then get it caught around your hand. You always want to make sure that you're holding it in a way that the entire rope would come out. So that's why you see me fixing it all the time. That hindquarter yield on the other side was great that time. So now what I'm doing is desensitizing his legs, trying to get that rope going around them, going in front of them, making sure we don't have a striking issue there. That was great. Basically no reaction from him. You can see his body lean a little bit and his eye comes towards it, but nothing of the defensive nature. Most horses normally kind of pick up their feet and stomp at it, so he really is taking to it well. And it might have been since before when I was throwing the rope over his back and all, he didn't really react too much to the um, whip around his legs that time, so he might already be a little bit used to it, but now I'm really dialing in and focusing on it. Again, right there, just getting him to face up. All right, and I am going to cut the session here, and you guys will see the rest of it in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed his sixth session, I believe, and hopefully you stay tuned to see the rest of it.